Welcome to the Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago 2016 Youth of the Year competition and dinner. In the Boys and Girls Club every year, 9,000 kids are pulling them through that door of opportunity. And we are a better city because of your generosity. And I want to thank you on behalf of the city of Chicago for remembering and always committing yourselves to that next generation. I am profoundly honored to serve this life-changing mission that is committed to making a profound impact on our world's most precious resource, its young people. In a time where it, we are inundated with stories of senseless violence, disheartening tragedy, stories that I report on every single night, these club members will give you all the hope for a bright and a beautiful future that we know can and will be possible. Each candidate tonight was specially chosen to represent their club as a finalist for the title of Youth of the Year. They are leaders in their schools, in their clubs, and in their communities. And regardless of who takes home the title, they are all winners here tonight. I was a kid who didn't do anything after school. I spent most of my days just hanging around the house and waiting for dinner. After I joined the club, I saw the world for the first time. My dad came to this country with only a spring jacket and a, hope to, and a hope to find a better life for himself. My mother was granted her citizenship by a once in a lifetime lottery drawing. Their struggle and commitment to making it in America was a foundation which created a pathway for me attending the Boys and Girls Club. Before finding Valentine Boys and Girls Club, I would walk the streets of Chicago every day looking for something to do. At the club, I found a sense of safety and relief. It gives me a sense of joy when I see the smile amongst the staff and fellow members. I feel secure and worry-free when I am at the club. The combination of academic success, understanding of business, and the belief in myself will help me when I one day open the first youth training center in Little Village. Just like many teens across America today who are unhappy and depressed, forcing themselves to become all the negative things that anyone ever said about them because it might as well be true, when all they ever needed was a sprinkle of love and a little motivation. Teens across America who just need a couple of people in their corner, backing them up in every possible way, motivating them to be happier, to be healthier, to be themselves. The more that I went to the Logan Square Club, the more I was able to overcome society's limitations, which drove my insecurities. Bullying and pressures to be normal, well, being a member of the club for the past 10 years has given me determination to make a difference. I believe in conquering the impossible. After being excluded from playing volleyball with my older siblings because of my lack of coordination, <laughs> it was Coach Smitty who helped me realize my talent when he uttered the words, take this volleyball home with you and practice hitting it off the wall because you have potential. I stand before you today as the captain of my school's volleyball team. The motivation the club has given me is through the roof. They helped me get my smile back. With all the troubles I went through as a child, I didn't smile as much, but now I do because I'm in a better place in life and doing well. I know how this year's candidates feel, how proud they are of what they have accomplished, how excited they are about this experience, and how hard they have all worked to be here, and how anxious they all are to hear the results. And finally, the moment we have all been waiting for, I'm incredibly honored to announce the winner of the 2016 Boys and Girls Clubs of Chicago Youth of the Year competition, Eve Hauser. I just want to say, Thank you to everyone for who came to support us tonight. I want to say thank you to everybody who helped us through this process. And I want to say thank you to all the candidates because none of us would have got through this without each other. I love y'all. <laughs>